Hey guys, Riz McKenzie here. Just thought I'd um, give you guys a quick update on what's been happening with me since my hiatus started last week. Being honest, things are still pretty tough. But at the end of the day, I'm still here, which is the main thing. I'm still here, I'm still alive. And yeah, it's but on a more serious note for the last week since I started my hiatus, my anger and my frustration, my depression, it's all been, there's no other way of putting it, it's all been piling up to the point where spending time at the gym is supposed to help relieve my stress, but to me it just made it worse because I felt I wasn't doing as well as I could be. It's never easy talking to people about mental health issues. But now that there's more now that there's more awareness and understanding of mental health issues these days, having a strong support network is, for me, absolutely crucial. And I can honestly say that I'm proud to have that strong support network. Some of those people in that support network, Dan, who I literally just spoke to prior to recording this, James, Catherine, Millie, Ellie, Lorna and Rebecca, and of course, my family as well, not to mention my best friend Paige. I've also got Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I've got members of my ward, I've got members in my stake, of fellow YSA across the whole of the UK. The guys at the Talk of the Devil Racing League uh, last night I watched uh, the race they had in China and Matthew Dixon did a great job of commentating by himself. And I would say it was very professional of him not to Very professional of him not to show any concern towards what was happening behind the scenes and just focused on what he was doing and he did a great job of that. So Matthew, I'll take my hat off to you for that. And I have had fellow I have had some of the racers in the league reach out to me, see if I was okay, and I really appreciate that. So 
So what else has been happening uh, besides all that? Well, Ariana Grande's new album dropped on Friday. And for me, it's for me it's definitely a lot better than than Sweetener. But no less impactful. I mean, you've got a few great songs on Sweetener, No Tears Left to Cry, R.E.M. And in my case, Breathing, which is my favourite song from the album, just because of how relatable it is for me. And another song that, which is from her new album, Thank You, Next. Her song Seven Rings, still, still at the top of the UK charts. Three weeks running now, so well done, Ariana. People were talking about how amazing Bloodline was, and I thought, yeah, this is a great track. But then when I started playing Ghosting, and it just hit me on such a deep level that I'm not joking when I say this. I've had the song on repeat since I got the album on Friday. After listening to the album all the way through, Ghosting is the only song that I have played from that album on repeat all day for the last all day for the whole weekend I've even had it on repeat to help me sleep at night because my sleep's still not that great I didn't get to sleep till about 3, 4 o'clock this morning And I've just not been eating right either. It's what this has allowed me to do this hiatus is it's allowed me to take time for myself and just take it from there I've been spending a lot of time over the course of the last week playing Kingdom Hearts almost completed it I've almost completed it haven't platinumed it yet I'm about 39% of the way there as far as the trophies are concerned. But I do plan on platinum, I mean, I do plan on doing a platinum run for the Kingdom Hearts series. I'm just going to play through all the games once, take it from there, and then finally get into Kingdom Hearts 3. I'll be playing Kingdom Hearts and Spider Man. I'm, st I'm still going to do that. I'm still going to be doing New Game Plus mode, folks. Don't worry. I'm also going to be doing a playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 3. The goal at the end of the day is to be back to regular uploads by the time E3 rolls around. That's the goal. To be able to get back into regular uploads by the time E3 rolls around. And by that point, hopefully, I'll be close to 100 subscribers. Last time I checked, I was at six, uh, I just checked early today, 69 subscribers, which I'm really happy with. It means I'm another step closer towards getting 100 subscribers. So I just thought I'd let you guys know what's happening. This week I've got a mental health appointment on Thursday, which happens to be Valentine's Day as well. The next weekend I'm going to be at the Coventry YSA convention. Convention season firmly underway as of next week. So we'll wait and see what happens. Hopefully being with fellow YSA will give me a little boost. Because I'll be damned if I need it. I'll be damned if I don't get that boost.
picks up. I'll let you guys know how things do in the next couple of weeks, how things go. Until then, take care.